So I have the graph of a function f here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out all of the x values where the function intersects the x-axis. Or another way to think about it is, what are the x values where f of x is equal to uh, 0? So pause this video and see if you can pick those out. OK, so when f of x is equal to 0, that means we are intersecting the x-axis. So that's there, that is there, and then that is there. And we can see what these points are. It's a little bit small on the screen, but we can see that that happens at x equals negative 2. So we could say, for example, that f of negative 2 is equal to 0. We can see that this is, let's see, this is, if that's negative 2, this is negative 1. This is negative 1 and a half. So f of negative 1.5 is equal to 0. That's this point there. And then this last one over here, that looks like 3, x equals 3. So f of 3 is equal to 0. Fair enough. Now let me ask you another question. When, well, we're going to think about what at what x values does the function equal 15? Well, when you look at it that way, if you say 15 right over here, that's the function, that's y equals 15. And it looks like it's happening right over here, right over here, and right over here. So it's not happening exactly at any integer values of x. For example, this is looks like it's happening at a point that is not quite at negative 3. It's between negative 2 and a half and 3, negative 3. It's much closer to negative 3. So I could write here it's between between negative 2.5 and 3. Or if we or let me be very careful. That's between oh yeah, negative 2.5 negative 2.5 and 3. If we said what integers is it between, we could say it's between negative 2 and negative 3. So between negative 2.5 and negative 3, I should say. We'd be very careful. Or if we want to say between what integers, we could say it's between negative 2 and negative 3. Similarly, this point right over here, it looks like it's between it's between x equals, it's it's happening between x equals 0 and x equals negative 1 half. If we want to think about integers, we could say it's between 0 and negative 1. And then this point right over here, it looks integers. It's happening between x equals 2 and x equals 3 that the function takes on the value 15. And if you want to get a little bit more precise and you're willing to go beyond integers, it's between 2 and 1 half and 3. So I'm just doing this so you get practice just thinking about when does a function take on certain values. Sometimes you can read it pretty clearly and you can get the exact answer. When you're looking at a graph, ideally, they make it very clear that the the graph is intersecting the axis at those points, maybe by drawing some dots. And that sometimes you might have to approximate. Like we just said, when does this function equal 15? Well, I don't have the exact x value just by looking at this, but I can tell you roughly where it is. It's between negative 2 and 1 half and negative 3. And it's actually much closer to negative 3.